Finally, after three more weeks of No Baki Rahin, chapter 30 has now been released. And let's just say this chapter did not disappoint. And Pickle has now lost half of his face. But if you would like to interact with me, my community, show off your art, drop some memes, talk in general, or maybe even self-promote, then you can join the Discord that can be found in the description box below. And before I start today's chapter review, let me know in the comment section below, how do you think this fight will pan out? Do you think Pickle will take the W against Jack yet again? Or will Jack finally prove himself as a top tier fighter by taking the win over Pickle? In the last chapter of Baki Rahin, chapter 29, Jack Hanma was punching Pickle and had even suplexed him, leading into a mount and Jack is now on top of Pickle, just punching Pickle directly in his face. And for as long as Pickle is laid out onto the ground, Jack has a massive advantage going into this chapter. With today's chapter, chapter 30 of Baki Rahin being titled Fangs Bear. With the cover of today's chapter being a sweaty Baki that is seemingly throwing a punch while looking like an absolute chad in the process. And today's chapter starts off with two individual martial artists both holding their individual stances. One that practices a technique named Kenpo while the other practices Karate. In both Kenpo and Karate, what is the strongest attack that the human hand can deliver? The Seiken? No. The knife hand? No. The nukite? No. The martial artist then balled his fist up. The answer, is this a seiken? No. It is the hammer blow. And this technique has been named for its indistinguishable resemblance to a large hammer. The force as well as the impulse produced by the strike is well documented with a man breaking what seems to be a pretty sizable stone, utilizing only his fists. It is a technique that one must handle with extreme caution, with the manga now showing two people being knocked out by the strike, most likely giving these two the worst form of brain damage imaginable in the process of being hit by this attack. And Jack Hanma is still on top of Pickle, you could consider it as the equivalent of an explosive within karate. And that very same hammer by Jack has been brought down onto Pickle's face, lending a direct hit onto his nose. And when Jack had lifted his arm up to go for another hammer blow onto Pickle, the entire crowd and even the likes of Mr. Tokugawa, Baki, and Karu Aniyama seemingly got chills just at the view of Jack's arm, with his veins and muscles now popping out more than ever. And with Jack having the power that he does, combined with Pickle now being on the ground, this attack is critical for this fight. With Jack not wasting any time, Jack had began repeatedly hitting Pickle, practically spamming the hammer blow, before then prowling down to Pickle's level, grabbing one of Pickle's hands with his own while still hitting him with the other. And Pickle is now unconscious while also bleeding from his nose. The crowd is going absolutely insane, and I think we all know what is about to happen. Jack then opened his mouth, showing off his titanium teeth yet again, and Pickle is now a target for Jack Hanma's bite. Jack then dove toward Pickle's face, with his jaws wide open ready to bite, and then a gash was heard. Jack had latched onto the now temporarily defenseless Pickle, and Jack is biting Pickle's left cheek biting as hard as he seemingly could, and this seems to have woken Pickle up with him feeling the pain. Pickle's eyes are now veiny and most likely bloodshot, and when Jack had finally pulled his jaws off of Pickle's face, he had left a trail of blood in the air as he did this. He bit him, and the crowd was just mortified at the sight of what they just had to witness. The entire left side of Pickle's face below the eyeball had been bitten off, with nothing but his face muscles being shown. Gee, he is eating his face. And not only was the crowd surprised by this happening, but Baki and Haniyama were also shocked. Jack Hanma has finally used his Gaudo on Pickle, and Pickle is now awake as well as being sat up. Pickle was stunned, and I don't think he had even fully comprehended what just happened to him. And Jack then spat Pickle's blood out of his mouth, as Pickle is now bleeding majorly from his face, which is now completely open. Jack's Gaudo is here, and now it has bared its fangs. 
But Pickle then began to realize that he now looks like Harvey Dent from Batman. And Pickle was absolutely furious. I have rarely ever seen Pickle have this look on his eyes. As Pickle then let out somewhat of a growl. And Pickle had tried to launch himself to bite Jack Hanma. But at that exact same moment, Jack threw a kick. And this kick connected to Pickle's neck, knocking him right back down. And the crowd was still amazed, now on the edge of their seats, as Pickle still seems to be extremely angry. And on this final panel, we truly get to see just how bad and severe this injury is for Pickle. Not only is Pickle's left cheek gone, but almost the entire left side of his face, with him only having his forehead on his left side. And if you had thought that Pickle's scars from Musashi Miyamoto were cool looking, I cannot imagine how this scar will heal. That is, if Pickle will come out of this alive. And it honestly seems like the author has recently been setting the manga up to prepare for Pickle's death. And Jack Hanma has finally unleashed his Gaudo in this fight. And Jack is looking very good. Jack has been capitalizing on almost, if not every opportunity that has presented itself so far. However, Pickle is now taking this fight far more serious. And Jack Hanma has now woken Pickle up to the fact that there is a chance that Pickle could potentially die in this fight. And this is going to make Pickle treat Jack Hanma far more seriously. Meaning Final Form Pickle versus Jack Hanma's Gaudo could be as soon as next chapter. And this would honestly be the most ideal transition. As when Pickle enters his final form, his muscles harden up into such a clump that they stop his open wounds from bleeding. And that ability alone could change the winner of the fight in an instant. And I believe some people still seem to underestimate Jack Hanma's biting force. Many had believed that his bite could not even penetrate Pickle's skin. But Jack has now done the opposite. He completely took half of Pickle's face off. And the fact that Jack Hanma is now mixing his martial arts with his biting prowess is insanely dangerous. I mean after all, that's the whole reason why he had this opportunity. But that is gonna be all for today's chapter. Let me know in the comment section below, did you enjoy today's chapter? And if you enjoyed today's video and would like to support me, then you can leave a like and subscribe. It's completely free on your end and helps me out way more than you may think. And once again, if you would like to interact with me, my community, show off your art, drop some memes, talk in general, or maybe even self-promote, then you can join the Discord that can be found in the description box below. But that will be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!